Hi, Chris here again with the Pianos and the Genos Tipsters. Another tip for you on SX700, SX900 and Genos. The tip I'm going to show you will work on those models as well because of course they have a common operating system. Um, obviously working from home, doing the best in the circumstances we can. This is all about part select on the um, SX operating system. Just a reminder, it will work on Genos as well. I want to show you how to use it and how to make some sense of it. So here we are, we're using a Yamaha SX900 um, keyboard for this and I want to explain this little section here which often brings a lot of confusion um, called the part select section and what it does is it allows you to change your sounds but also layer sounds together on top of each other um, and change them as you go along and activate them and deactivate them. Notice that it corresponds to what's on the screen at the minute. We've got Concert Grand Piano in uh, right one notice and faded out in right two is strings and right three is steel acoustic guitar. And uh, we've got a light on number one, but no light on number two and three. Now, first question I'm usually asked is, why on earth do you need two rows here? Well, what the top row is for is for you to quickly select a sound for, let's say, right number two here, because um, it's defaulted to strings. But let's say you didn't want strings. Let's say you wanted choir. Now, you can, of course, press this on the screen, but a way to get into that um, menu straight away would be to press this button here, right two, not the bottom one, because that activates the sound, but the top one. Then look on the screen. And you can see right to voice here. So I'm choosing the voice for right number two. And I'm going to go in and choose that nice choir there. And when I play, I return to the home screen and play. I'm still getting piano on its own. That's because the right number two voice has not been activated. I've chosen one using the top button here, but it's not activated. To activate it, you can either press this here where it says right two, but I find this a little bit tricky and that always happens, which is a bit annoying. Um, if you press there, that will light up and that will now give us piano and choir. What I think is a better way to do it is use the button underneath here. And we can see as I toggle this on and off, on, off, on the screen, right two is coming on and off. Um, works the same for right three as well. If I didn't want acoustic guitar, if I wanted a different sound, uh, I can just press on the screen there and it allows us to choose right number three voice, or I can press the upper layer, right three, just there, and then go in and say, right, I actually want a, a brass sound. I'll go with a uh, brass band. There we go. So still not activated noted and playing we're still only getting piano and strings because only part one and part two oops only part one and part two are activated so a reminder i can either press the button there that gives us right three but is a bit small for that so i don't like doing it that way the other way to do it better way is to activate it here by pressing right three and see as i turn it on and off it toggles on and off there so all three sounds together great big sound and if I didn't like one of them I can either press on the screen in the appropriate box to change the voice or I can press a button here and go straight in so if I wanted to change the right number two to something else I press the top row that's what it's for top row choose a different voice let's say I wanted uh, an organ instead there we go still activated that lights on on the lower row and there we go we've got three layers so that's just a little explanation of how part select works to clear up any confusion thanks very much for watching i hope that was useful to you plenty more videos to come hope everyone's staying safe bye for now